the Eventide undulator is a rhythmic feedback tremolo effect derived from their H3000 hardware unit. In this video I will show you why this plugin is an interesting effect to use in mixing. Hi, I'm Marlon and this is The White Noise Studio. Please remember to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on new videos. The Undulator by Eventide is the latest installment of their H9 ports for desktop. This is from the manual. This unique rhythmic effect combines input swell, change detune delays and ethereal feedback run through an AM-FM modulated tremolo. The plugin combines the layout and functions known from the other H9 series plugins. Uh, a few minor gripes. I still believe that I could use this area here better for displaying the preset name and a rescalable GUI would have been nice too, although this size works. I will demonstrate the undulator using this synth pad. Okay, let's go over the controls, dials and ribbon. Here's the input gain. Here's the output gain. Here's a dryer with a mix dial and here are all controls on how the tremolo reacts. The plugin uses two sources for its tremolo LFO. The first is shape. Shape selects the source of tremolo. The choices are sine, triangle, peak, random, ramp, square, sample and hold, envelope, ADSR and ribbon. If you choose ribbon, that's controlled by this ribbon here. You see that a few controls are disabled because the ribbon will drive all of these controls. The second is a source button which has the same exact choices as the shape dial as you can see here. Here we have depth. Depth sets the depth of the tremolo. Speed sets the rate of the tremolo. If you use envelope or ADSR in the shape parameter, the amplitude of the audio input will drive it and with the speed you can set the sensitivity. You can see that speed has changed to sensitivity over here, so how it reacts to the incoming input. Feedback controls the amount of feedback in the delay structure. You can even create infinite loop with this. Spread controls the amount of detuning in the delay structure. Okay, here are the controls for the second LFO. First we have mod depth amount. This controls the amount of modulation of the tremolo's depth of LFO 2. Then we have speed amount. This controls the amount of modulation of the tremolo's speed control. And then we have mod rate. This sets the secondary LFO rate. This also determines how fast the mod depth amount and mod speed amount wiggle their targets. And it goes from 1 8th the speed to 8 times the speed value. And again, selecting the envelope or ADSR will do the same as with LFO 1. With tempo, you set which source the plugin uses for its internal syncing. When it's off, you have to use the tap knob to set the speed of LFO 1. If you set it to sync, it will use the project's sync and you can change it here. The note values change as you can see. And with manual, you still see note values, but you have to set the tempo manual over here. There are some more controls like this fast slow switch. If you press it, you will engage the brake and it will be enabled as long as you press this button. If you release it, the LFO will speed up again. This is the same as with the Eventide Rotary plugin and the undulator has some more similarities, like for instance how the envelope can control the speed. If the tempo is off and you use the internal syncing, you can use the retrigger button if you notice that the LFO is out of sync. It will retrigger the LFO and is most useful when playing live. And then we have the ribbon of the H9 series. This is a fun thing to play with. First you set an A setting.
and then you set the B setting. And you can use this dial to morph between these two settings. So you can use this for creative mixing. Okay, let's play around a little bit with the sound. The undulator is like the rest of the plugins in the Eventide H9 series. It sounds really good and it will trigger your creative mind. And the best reason to get this plugin is because all proceeds will go to charity. Eventide will donate 100% of the proceeds of the undulator desktop plugin to the Equal Justice Initiative and NACP Legal Defense and Education Fund. It's needless to say I bought my copy to support such a good cause. Okay, if you want to check out more of my Eventide H9 series reviews, check out the videos displayed on screen right now. Please remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!